Hi, my name is Jay Montag, and I'm going to show you how chemistry is involved in making a tennis ball. Although tennis balls don't seem that complicated, they're actually pretty cool. Okay. Now let's see what goes into a tennis ball. The first main component of a tennis ball is the rubber, or C5H8, which is made through a process that we'll talk about a little later in the video. And the second is the nylon wool that is glued on the rubber. The felt is important because it helps control the bounce of the ball and also makes them last longer. So I can do this. Winner. The felt on a tennis ball is either melting cloth or needle cloth, but the way they are put on is the same. They are stamped on by a machine and then covered in vulcanizing solution. Next, they heat up the fabric on the solution to make it stick firmly. Now the complicated part, how the synthetic rubber is made using chemistry. In this day and age, it can be done completely using a computer program. It needs no humans to make it. Step one, they combine butadiene, which is C4H6, and hexane, which is C6H14. When they combine these with a the catalyst, it changes the chemical makeup into polybutadiene. Uh, the, chemical or the chemical equation for polybutadiene is CH2, equals CH equals CH2. Um, which, uh, and polybutadiene is a rubber used to make tires. Uh, they then add another catalyst, and that makes synthetic rubber in liquid form. They then put a solvent in, and the liquid is boiled until the solvent is boiled out. This leaves little pellets of rubber um, in solid form. Uh, and then with those, they just crush it, into a big bale of rubber that can go into anything from car tires to now tennis balls. Some tennis balls are made with natural rubber instead of man-made synthetic rubber. Okay, so how natural rubber is made? Step one, a tree produces sap called latex. This takes a long time. Step two, they tap the tree so the latex can empty out. After they add the latex, they put CH2O2 also known as formic acid. This causes the solution to clump together. They then send the clump together solution of latex through a roller and leave it out to harden into long pads that are then clumped together in two bales of rubber. Chemistry makes it possible for this little ball to help me and a ton of others play the game that we love. The first main component in a tennis ball is the rubber, or C5H8, which is uh, made through a process that we'll talk about later. The second is the nylon wool that is glued on the rubber. The felt is very important because, it, okay, I don't want to do that because I, I, I need to do the rubber part. You did. Okay, so. So I can do this. And never mind. Go. As you can see, Chemistry makes it possible for me and a ton of others to play tennis, which is a game that I love and a ton of other people love. Oh God. <laughs> um. Please go to chemistryislife.com for more information.